welcome back everybody to the next episode of Dragon Quest 7. Ah, uh, I'm so happy to play this game again. Um, in the last episode we fought a real hothead. <laughs> God, I'm funny. Um, and so I assume we need to find Puck, or whatever our uncle's name is. But we can't zoom to, uh... Well, that makes sense. We can't zoom home because we went through the portal, which means we're in the past, correct? What it means, hence the name, Forgotten Fragments of the Forgotten Past? I don't know. As I always say, I don't know everything. I'm not the Pope. Everybody wants Tung Fu fighting. I love that that is their name, Tung Fu Fighters. Oh god, even on the compass we, uh, freak out. Y'all be back. Gonna go to, um, Guard? That's it's called, right? I thought we got enough fragments to complete another one of them things. I wonder what will happen when we put it together. Will we transport to another island? That's what happened so far, man. God. Just the sounds of this game make me so happy. The, the little things. Uh, uh, the little thing. Wait, what are you saying? Trying for him trust stuff. I don't need to talk to that person. I need to go to Puck, right? I assume. Ah, who it is? My favorite nephew's come. Hey, his old uncle visit. Like, something I want to ask you, actually. Tell me, I want to know, um, yeah, I'll give you this bottle. Holy, holy water, deal? Alright, ready, right, here goes. It's true that Pollock and Mayor Bade have gone to Castle to discuss this island? Yep. You know what? Might be made there. Make my, my words. I don't need this smelly old builds I mean this amazing deeply sacred water and more here's yours overseas the holy holy water maybe I'll quite the holy okay don't stay all I'm gonna give you nothing okay now if you don't mind I'm got serious thinking dude doors over there but apparently that's how I assume drunks speak <laughs> Sorry if anyone watching is a drunk and I've offended you. Well, if you're a drunk, I worry about you, I guess. Yeah, don't be an alcoholic, guys. Um, I've known a few before. And one's dead because, you know, his liver stopped working. The other, thankfully, stopped being an alcoholic because he had a child and did the right thing and stopped sucking at life. Um... Like pillars, red, um, I, I guess I could just go there? Yeah, cool. We've never gone back to a place. We could go to Bali Moli, Baloi, Bali Moli is all it's called. It is 717 at night. Fun fact, my favorite number is 17. So, if you ever the number 17 associated with my channel in any way like soul chris 17 which might be my url i'm not sure if it's that or if it's just soul chris i'm not sure um but or if it's either actually i might not have that that um yeah it's because that's my favorite number um what happened was dude back in like seventh grade they would give you a number in class based off the alphabetical order of your last name mine was 17 and in 7th grade. In 8th grade, I think it was 18. I got pretty upset. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why. It's the first number that was ever assigned to me. And I was just like, well, that's that's me. Kind of like the opposite of the new SpongeBob, SpongeBob meme that's come out. Well, I'm going to head out. That's a pretty good meme, by the way. I love just how many memes have come from SpongeBob. It's kind of ridiculous. An impressive kind of ridiculous. Do you like Krabby Patty Squidward? I'm not gonna do it, I'm sorry. Um... 
Hey, I got this stuff. Eh! Yeah, you did it! You could hold in stuff I told you about! Now then, let's not lock about. Into that bottle into the ball of the black flame and see what happens. Like, do I just chuck the open bottle or. Soul sprinkles the holy, holy water onto the ball of black flames. Tell me you're going to whack. Ooh, bubbles. I'm gonna drink this coffee. I told you what time it was so I could be like, I'm still drinking coffee. Catch the stuff. Well, would you look at that? It's gone. Eh, thank crikey for that. If you had not hadn't stuck around with a bit in the end, till the bitter end, we'd be in this right pickle. Looks like the vision won't be coming through after all. You sure, Pamela? Yes, he's Scottish Indian parents. Hey, I can feel it in me water in my waters. Wow. No more eruptions for us. To be fair, Mage Master can't do a Scottish accent either, and he's from England, so I feel less bad. Thank Raiki for that. Right, everyone, that's quite enough excitement for the day. I hereby declare the ritual over. Now, let's get back to Emberdale and put the kettle on. It calls for a cuppa. Oh, a tea would have been great right now. So, so you and your pals saved our village. That's why I'm um, making you our guest. I'm making. He's not making, he's making you our guest of honor tonight. You'll, you'll have time, to, you'll have the time of your lives, I promise. See you back there. Right, my strategy was to read slower and I can read it better. I need to get back on that. Lady? Why? Why? I mean, there's nothing down there, but still, what if there is? Having successfully completed the Return of Fire ritual, everyone makes their way back to Emberdale. A lavish party is held with singing, dancing, and merrymaking, and the fear that was felt on the mountain is soon forgotten. Soul and friends have a fine old time surrounded by local well-wishers and plenty of tea and sandwiches. That sounds lovely. Who needs cake when you have tea and sandwiches? And by the time the festivities come to an end, the sun is already in the sky. Oh, Jesus, that's... I can't party through the night. That's that's too much. I, was, I hurt when I was up to like 2 a.m. Morning. Yeah, what a night that it was. I just want to tell you. I just want to just want to say ta for all your help and have a safe journey. Um. I assume it means in the town, not in here. Probably either the mayor or the the Pamela. The Pamela. I'm gonna call her the Pamela. Oh, that's the Jesus place. Church. <laughs> the Jesus place. I'm fun. I'll keep telling myself that. Oi! Chuck! Oi! Hey, up you lot! I really can't thank you enough for saving the village. Of course, if the faffing about had been avoided, it just listened to Pamela first in place. Still, everything was fine and dandy in, thanks to you. Now then, I don't rightly know why, by, uh, why that monster turned up in the bird month. But I suspect it's because we've been shown enough gratitude. Really, we're not shown enough gratitude. Well, we won't be making that mistake again. Let me tell you, we'll make, we're going to make sure, show, sure. we're going to make sure to show them how grateful we are than ever. I mean, we can't rely on off, off come, off cumdens. What are these words? We can't rely on off cumdens like that uh, to bail us out next time something goes awry. No, this is our village. It's our responsibility to look after it. What if I'm, tr I'm trying to say is you don't need to worry about this anymore. You can carry on with your wee journey. Good luck to you. Okay, I'm gonna go to Pamela. So apparently there is one more thing. And she probably has it. Hello? Bumble matter. Huh? Oh, it's you. Looks like you've had a good night's rest. The people of the village owe you a lot, you know. So I've been thinking you should do something to thank say thanks. I had a quick gaze at the crystal ball to see if we could have a might have see if we out see if we huh. To see if we had aught that might be of use to you. This is not how we speak in the United States, and so I'm just not used to it. And as that happens, we do it here. Ooh, blue. I haven't had a blue one for, I think. Overseas the blue fragment. Phrase that Maribel does. I held on to it thinking it might come in handy when we were telling fortunes. But according to me, on old, old Curse of Ball, you're getting more used out of it than me. Don't be strange now, eh? If there's out a old Pamela can do for you, drop by a cup and a chat. I would love to drop by for a cup and a chat with you. You seem like a great old lady. And I'm gonna go back. 
I'm a way sign. Go back to my own town, my own time, and town, and see what happens. Apparently, I'm faster than a raptor with two scimitars. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, the Meowgician. I love that name. By the way, I have procured, thanks to Telemachus, um, a ROM for the Game Boy Dragon Warrior Monster, which is the first Dragon Quest game I ever played in my life. Would you folks like to see a Let's Play of that in the future? It's not going to be immediate, it's just, is that something that people will be like interested in? Its graphics are basically non-existent. It kind of looks like original Pokemon. Basically, you play a kid and you recruit monsters. It's great. The party's wounds are healed. Lovely. So that volcano didn't erupt and Imbedales and Scythe. It's all thanks to us. Still, much as I love being a hero, right now I'm more interested in whether any more islands have appeared. If they have, someone's at the castle should know about it. Let's head over and find out, so. And Maribel is quiet. Um. Okay, I'm not even allowed to talk to him. I guess there. I guess that means I have what it takes to complete another tablet thing, and they don't want me to. Uh, it's stud. Drink my cow. What? Why did it fail? Huh? Maybe something. Oh, something's gonna happen as we as we leave this place. I bet. Oops. Can't quite get out that way. I had itches. I want to play the original version of this still. See what the opening is like. Because that's what I've been told is the biggest difference. Try one more time just to see if it was maybe right there. No. Oh, I agree with Kaifa. We should get back to the castle and see what's going on. Alright, Maribel. Someone complained about the run you have to make to the shrine. I'm just like... Zoom there. Unless you know the story. Like they said that this section like never has monsters, so they're like it's a waste, but I'm like, just zoom there unless the story obviously cock blocks us like it is now. Zoom. Where's my boat? Maybe it's back in the harbor thing that we have? I don't know. But but I've been told. Um, hi, old man. Prince Kaifa, I imagine you know all about the new island that appeared, do you? Sure. Well, I guess there's no harm in telling you. It's not a dangerous place. In fact, there's nothing at all to worry about. But you didn't hear that from me, alright? Nothing to worry about, huh? That's a bit dull, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. Let's go see the king. Ups a daisy. Jeez, you look interesting. Ah, Prince Kaifa, you're back. And you brought your friends as well. His Majesty is waiting for you. Please proceed to the throne room right away. Yes, sir. He mad. He looks mad. Why is my dad here? Why is Maribel's dad here? Why is the hermit Dermot the here? I need to drink coffee and probably sneeze. Kaifa, so Maribel, welcome home. Our learned friend here has told us all about the recent activities, something I could not help but notice that you are loath to do. Because well, you're kind of a dick. In any case, if what he tells me is true, it would appear that this world once contained a great number of islands. At some point, however, and for some reasons unknown to us, they all disappeared, and now your actions are bringing them back. I'm led to believe, in fact, that a new island may even have appeared as a result of your latest excursion. I must admit, I'm skeptically of the, uh, I'm skeptical of these claims, which is why I've dispatched a party to investigate. They confirm the presence of another new island. And I suppose I'll have no choice but to believe Dermot's explanation, and I believe you too, Kaifa. Now we should be receiving a report back from them any moment. At which point, hmm? I'm trying to make him a more mature, an aged, Genghis. Uh, I bring a message, Your Majesty, from the party sent to investigate the new island. Well, speak. 
We have confirmed the presence of a new island mass, a volcanic volcanic island at some distance to the north, the one which appeared the other day, uh, Emmerdale. Hmm, thank you. You may stand down. Yes, your highness. Well, that settles it, I suppose. It must be the venerable Dermot says that many islands of the world once lost, leaving only our own small realm behind. As are slowly being restored to us, and by none other than our own intrepid young adventurers. I bow before your wisdom, old friend. I love the young people. Name that location. Ah, well, you should. <laughs> I should have believed you. Please, you must accept my deepest apologies. Now, Kaifa, I'm not. If not for the efforts of you and your friends, this truth should have evaded us. You have done our realm a great service, and for this I am grateful. However, I still need to beat your ass for disobeying me. I cannot allow you to continue to, continue to put yourself at risk so recklessly. Young man, your adventuring days are over. What a dick. Your, ma yeah, your Majesty, this isn't what you promised. My son, you must understand. You are the future king of a star. You must leave the task of restoring the lost islands to others and focus on your royal duties. Oh, he's going to say Maribel can't come too, eh? That goes for you too, Maribel. No more adventures. Dwellers word, sick young lady. Come on, home with you. None of the kids are... All right, all right, I'm coming. You don't need to drag me. I mean, it's our dad at least can be proud of us. Because, I mean, he thinks we're a wimp. Won't even let us on a boat. So, my lad... You've no idea how it makes me to hear tales of your bravery. But there's no point in having guts if you don't know when to call it a day. Let's make a quiet exit of our own, shall we? Dad and his crazy smile. The party disbanded. Hey, that's a good name for this episode. You know, I always thought you were cautious lad. I didn't expect you'd go for all that deary do malarkey. Anyway, I'm not going to lay down the law like King Donald and Mayor Maiden and tell you that you can't be going off adventuring. But on the other hand, there's nothing daring or heroic about running off without a buy, without a buy or leave and making folks worry about you. So, I'll ask you straight, lad. Do you mean to go off adventuring again anytime soon? Yes. Even if it means you have to do it all on your own without any of your little friends to help you, are you absolutely determined? I, I don't know what Dad's voice is now. Yes. Well, in that case, I won't stand your way. You're a young man now, and only natural for you to want to be spreading your wings, trying new things. Just don't do anything stupid, you hear? There's nothing brave about sticking around and taking a beating when you could have run and saved yourself. So maybe this will be the voice of people around. I don't fucking know. Well, it's getting late, and you're about to be needing your sleep by the sounds of it. Good night, lad. I kind of want to make him have the same voice as, um... What can I do for ya? Um, Griswold from Diablo. One. What can I do for ya? Hi, I'm Charcy. Hey, Ireland, listen. I'm not a voice actor, as you can tell. But I'm a keen coffee drinker. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hey, ma'am. Hurry up. More in there. Your father's left already. He's down at the docks by now, I'd imagine. Do I need to take him a frickin' sandwich again? Oh, hey, Mero. Finally, what time you call this? I thought you were going to make me wait all day. Well, at least somebody slept in. I was up all night trying to talk some sense to my bow-headed father. Anyway, I bet you're thinking of going off adventure on your own where you're not allowed to come, aren't you? Uh, nope, you can come. Oh, come on, you can't fool me, you know. Well, there's no way I'm letting you have all the fun. I spoke to my father and he's agreed to let me come with you. Yes! And I just, I'm assuming Kyfer's just gonna sneak out. All right, while this um, incredibly long fanfare of people joining party comes, I'm going to pour the remaining coffee from my um, French press just to make my coffee a little stronger. Now, if they're meeting yesterday, they said something about a volcanic island way off in the north, didn't they? Well then, I think we should just be our next port of coal. Let's get going, shall we? What about Kaifu? Oh, I nearly forgot. I want to talk to you about Kaifa. I think we just have to accept that he can't come with us. His father's right. He is royalty, after all. It, it'll be hard for just the two of us, but I'm sure we can manage. 
I mean, according to my layout, there are like three other people joined the party, so where's the hot chick? Right, let's get this lid move, shall we? And Maribel move it. On three. One, two, three. I'm hoping she can't do it, and that seems to be the case, which means we'll need Kaifer. Now good, we'll never be able to move it on our own. What are we going to do, so? You better come up with something uh, come up with something clever and fast. Um the Prince Kaifer? I guess. Yeah! Hey boy! Heh. <laughs> Looks like I made it just in the nick of time. Oh, I'm late, you two. Right, let's get going, shall we? There's adventure to be done. Adventuring? But what about your father? Your royal duties? Well, uh, let's just say they might have to wait a little while, eh? It's not like I don't want, want my dad this would happen. I, I told him I was going to keep sneaking out until he finally gives up. In. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not hanging around in my adventuring shoes just yet. Anyway, enough of that. You were about to head for the new island off the north, right? Then let's get going. Prince Kaifer joins the party. I, what is that? Don't judge me, folks. I'm gonna put this lid on my coffee. It'll now get basically stuck at this temperature. It'll be great. Anyone that's new to my channel because you came here due to this Let's Play or um, because you watched Mage Masher and were thrown my way because he talks about me or because of the verses, um, you'll notice I sing a lot. By the way, if you came here because of the three-way verses, check out the two-way verses between British Eagle and I. We have three series done already. Pokemon Red versus Blue, Pokemon Gold versus Silver, and Pokemon Ruby versus Sapphire. They're all lovely. Especially, like, the first episode of our very first recording together. Or the ship. Yes. So, first episode of Red versus Blue. Fucking epic, mate. Fucking epic. Um, so we didn't go around this way last time, so... Uh, so we've been there, been there, been that, some wet kissers, mm -hmm. right, whip, I keep forgetting she has a whip, and it is great, because it makes her an incredibly useful party member. I didn't use whips when I let's play Dragon Quest VIII, though on the hero I did use boomerangs, so... Better than whips, in my opinion. Whips only hit a group of enemies. Boomerangs hit everybody. Obviously, the damage decreases as you hit more and more enemies, but I don't care. What the? Death what? What is it? A death car. Death car go. Good job. That is brilliant. Uh, oh, you know magic. Wow. Um, damn. Damn. Alrighty, but that's good. Oh, right, I don't want to get exp- Oh, are we right here already? Or is there another- No, it looks the same. Oh, I must have just come from a different- Oh, right, we must have started a different area. Are you up on your travels, are you? Well, then, welcome to the village of Emmerdale. If it's a nice hot bath you're after, you get yourself da uh, down in the middle- Well, in the middle of the village. Okay, go check that out. Um... Oh, no nice cold drink after dipping the spa. Slips right down, it does. Uh, nothing. Oh, so a pair of boxer shorts. I'm s Hi, Grandma. Oh, look at me skin. It's all soft and shiny and pink. It's not soft. Um, yeah, when I heard I was mixed bathing, I had all kinds of weird, wild ideas, but this is, well, a bit of, yeah. He looks at the old lady. <laughs> Still, it's nice to take a dip, I suppose. But then I'd have said, what? I don't care. Oh no, old man. How about here? Eh? It feels like right, tense, does it? Oh, never mind. He's just sore, I guess. Um, Let's go do some, some looting first. I mean, finding? We don't loot. We find things. Okay, so there. I'll look over here. Oh, hey. Don't seem right to have a fancy place like this here in Emmerdale. Still, savage drinks must be grumbled. Mustn't grumble. 
Dance, dance, do, 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 got a load. Are these the same people? I mean, they can't be, but they look like the same people. I mean, descendants, obviously, is the idea they'll be going for, I'm sure. Um, nothing. Ooh, and double herb. What do you have to say, lady? This food don't taste that bad, but one look at it and you can tell we're made by a bloke. Last time he made a hot pot, it didn't even bother chopping the carrots and potatoes. He just plopped them in the pan hole. Come on, man, you gotta cut stuff up. Cooking 302, I mean 101. You know how it goes. I believe there's a thing right here. Nothing in there. Uh, he's Indian dude. Check this out. Uh, when I say check this out, it makes me want to play Lunar Silver Star Story again because that's what Nash says when he uses a lightning spell. Good game. Good game. Um... Ooh, file of magic water. That's lovely. I thought it was going to be holy water, but magic water is even better. Please don't tell me Pamela's still alive. Welcome. Seek a truth from Madame Pamela's pile of prophecy. You might... Wow. I'm Dora, Madame Pamela's assistant. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions about the services we offer. But what is she doing alive? Giant mallet, thorn whip, da -da -da, scale armor... Hardwood headgear. Ooh, that's a big upgrade for Kiefer. And it's... Uh, it's like more than half my money, actually. Never mind. Huh, customers. All right, all right. In, in you come. In case you didn't know, I'm Pamela the Fortune Teller. Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Something strange about my name is there. Well, I suppose it's strange. It's not really my name, after all. See, it was, it was a name we give to folk in our family who got the gift. You know, them as I can see of the future. See, once upon a time, it used to it used to be one disaster after another right in these parts. That's until my ancestor, the first Pamela, put a stop to it all. She was acting on Father of the Flames orders, see. He also made right good medicine, that first Pamela. That's something I don't have a clue about, sadly. Any road, you've come to have a fortune told, haven't you? Good, closer then. Let me look at you. Oh, is she going to see that we're the ones from back then? Hang on, what's going on here? I can't see out. Mm -mm. I am seeing something, though, something that's coming from you. Some kind of strange power. Like it or like, like it's not. That's what it's getting. That's what's getting in the way of me fortune telling. Right? There's your lot. Now then, if he, I tell you what, I'll give you a special one-time only discount. Just five gold coins. Come on, cough up. Um, wow. Ta very much. Drop by again. Wow, she actually charged us. What a bitch. Uh, let's go see the mayor's house. Uh, break. Hey, we got our money back. Nothing. Um. Nothing. Ooh. Oh, set of rags. I was like, that looked like, like an elven cape. Tell the Analex of Confuse. Oh, we already read that. Go away. Okay. Well, let's talk to Mr. Hihachi here. Actually, I like his hair. Oh, yep. Two resident. Well, welcome to Imadil. I take it you can, uh, you like a little village. Yeah, it's great. Really, your gaff as well. That's what I like to hear. As long as you're happy, we're happy. That's a motto. And if you like, you can kind of tell us your friends and relationships to visit too. We'd be even happier. I just want to put our village on the map. I literally put your village on the map. Quite literally. Maybe I need to go to the volcano. That would kind of make sense. Right? Um... But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will simply carry on to oh, let's see what they have to say no doubt no doubt about it this is Imbadale all right I mean it hasn't changed a bit at least Bola Malloy had a good grace to get a bit more built up just as I thought we brought we brought Imbadale back to life all the islands were visiting the past so we were painting the present okay uh, so yeah in the next episode ladies and gentlemen we will go to the mountain and if that fails and we'll simply go to the shrine thank you so much for watching do take care and until next time bye bye for now 
Hey there everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. If you wish to support me further, think about pledging to my Patreon or donating on Streamlabs during one of my weekly Saturday live streams, both of which have links in the description below. Join the Discord to stay up to date with all current and future projects, and make sure to like and subscribe as that's what I'm supposed to tell you as a YouTuber. But in all truthfulness, just thank you so much, and see you next time.